I truly hope that this project sets a precedent for future hangars. The fact that we pulled this off not only at all, but in the pace that we did with the carbon footprint that we did proves that it can be done. A lot of this was new for not only us, but also our subs. So I think they did a fantastic job in rising to the occasion. I'm uh, Sean Flynn, the CEO of Silver Maple Construction. We're talking about the United Therapeutics corporate hangar in Concord, New Hampshire. Working at this speed is a little bit like conducting a symphony. Evan Heron, who ran this project on the ground, conducted it beautifully. My name is Evan Heron, project manager for Silver Maple. From a sustainability standpoint, from a speed standpoint, and just from an aesthetic standpoint, I think this hangar really sets a high bar. United Therapeutics approached us early on trying to locate a base for their flight operations as well as their organ delivery operations out of the Manchester Concord area. United Therapeutics wanted a sustainably built hangar, right? But they also wanted it quickly. A lot of times those two things don't necessarily go hand in hand. So when we talk about sustainability on this project, we are talking about low carbon footprint. It turned out that building it out of mass timber was actually quicker than building it out of metal. I think we had some great design partners, specifically our mass timber sub, Art Massif. The whole superstructure of the building is made out of glue lamb from uh, black spruce trees that's been finger jointed together into the columns, wind girts, and cross members that you're seeing here. The trusses that we built, it's 210 foot clear span. Each truss itself is almost 30 feet tall. So the erection of the whole glue lamb structure only took 11 weeks. We would drop column on each side, and then the truss would be erected with uh, two cranes to hoist it, and each, each truss weighing about 50,000 pounds. So at one point, we had our site work contractor digging on one side of the building. We had our concrete contractor casting concrete piers and walls in the middle of the building. On the west side of the building, we had wall panels going in and mass timber frame still going up. So the coordination between those major elements was huge, and we could not have achieved this speed on this project without prefabrication. Silver Maple always prefabricates. In this case, it was absolutely necessary. They were a super low carbon footprint. We were able to build them in a sustainable way and we could get them up very quickly. There was about 40,000 square feet of wall panels that went into this job. It was about 100 panels in total. And our team put those panels up in about eight working days. And we brought it in in 10 foot sections and uh, did a tilt up construction method to actually attach it to the frame. They were all prefabricated at the Silver Maple Panel Shop in Middlebury, Vermont. Above the truss system, you'll see the exposed metal decking, which is the real diaphragm of the glue lamb structure. On the outside of this building, we did use a product called Rich Light, which is a paper product that gets glued up. So that helped us hit our sustainability goals. The so Rich Light is a very versatile and eco-friendly product. It's really solid and waterproof between the slate colored siding that covers the whole building and then the natural colored swoop. We have about 35,000 square feet. Some of the other sustainability goals that we achieved were not necessarily for things that we did, but it's for things that we didn't do. Required by code, we have to have a fire protection system in the ceiling, a, a water sprinkler system. But we also, because it's a hangar and there's jet fuel in the planes, we had to have some type of fire suppression system to deal with that. So standard, Construction would tell you to put foam generators in the ceiling. If they sense jet fuel, it floods the space with this suffocating foam. But is remarkably rugged on the environment and arguably destroys aircraft when it's ejected and can be a life safety issue in and of itself when people are stuck inside. What we ended up doing was going with a product called Safe Spill, which is brand new to the market. Jet fuel will actually go through the perforations into the channels, which are pitched towards a trench drain, and then flush all the jet fuel through the floor, away from the planes. Effectively zero impact on operations if it occurs and no loss of airplane when it, when it happens. Typical safe spill systems, it's more of an area rug layout where you put these panels underneath the high hazard areas where you might experience spills. However, in this uh, installation, we did almost 34,000 square feet to cover the entire hangar space. This is the first code compliant private building in the world to have safe spill. We are very proud of this. Safe Spill is very proud of this. And obviously we hope United Therapeutics is, is proud of this as well. The big hangar door for the Gulf Streams, that is 30 feet tall by 120 feet wide. And that is the largest hydraulic door that Schweiss has ever made that actually cantilevers out. The larger door here weighs about 55,000 pounds, whereas the smaller door weighs about 
20,000 pounds, which are ran all on hydraulic pumps. The Gulam frame for the whole building and then the steel frame of the doors are only connected by slotted connections, which allow for deflection between the door and building in event of different loads. This was a you know, light speed build. Hundreds of people on site on a given day, most of whom had never worked on a mass timber building because they're so new. There are a remarkable number of details to keep track of. And in order to do that at the pace that we did, uh, Evan and our Silver Maple team really, I'm very proud of everything they did. In terms of building an aesthetically pleasing building, using renewable resources, capturing carbon, and pushing the schedule, we do look forward to improving upon those benchmarks. So not just the building sets the precedent, but also the process. That just sets the gold standard for construction.